here we are once again with the evil scientist Bob and Wilson. And today, Bob is going to be opening a fun stand. Hooray! Now you're probably asking yourself, how did Bob acquire the fun stand? Ah! Gimme, 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 gimme. Well, we're not going to talk about that. But the fun stand is going to be serving fun snow cone things here. We've got a bunch of flask in the back of this truck, uh, thanks to Amazon here. So let's go ahead and open the door. There we go. Uh, we need to dump these all out. Uh, this is gonna be kind of a lot of work, but this isn't too bad. Alright, you can go ahead and go, Amazon. So yeah, Bob's gonna have a ton of fun here today, and he's gonna invite everybody from the town, and nothing totally is gonna go bad. Ah, all right. So the fun stand is now open. Wilson's hanging out up here. Uh, people are lining up. We got actually quite a few customers. Now we don't make the snow cones here. We actually make them back here. Wink, wink. So uh, let's go ahead and get our first customer. Uh, this is using a uh, a brand new set of flask, and I'm gonna show you guys these uh, and how they work. Um, I need you to here. This really doesn't matter how you get on this. Oh, okay, we might need to uh, inject a life syringe into this person. This is fine. All right, so we got you strapped down there. That looks A-OK. -okay. So let's go ahead and get our little uh, blood vessel wire. And then we can go ahead and draw a little sample here. So let's go ahead and pull. Give it a second. You want to have like a base here of the mixture of the snow cone. All right, so that looks good. So let's go ahead and cut that. All right, so let's pull out our new flask here. So, as you can see, there's a lot of flavors of flask here. Obviously, you can uh, use the blood tank here to uh, push them in there, then push them into your uh, your customer. But you can also use this little blank syringe and pump them into that if you want to. But first, let's go ahead and do some experiments. So, we have a reshaping flask. That's a really cool one. Uh, let's see, a funky flask. That sounds promising. Anything else? Ooh, a burster flask. So, if you guys are excited to see what these flasks do, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button. Uh, if not, Wilson doesn't get his life syringe this episode. Alright, so we've got these set to pull, so let's go ahead and hook these into here. You know, we probably shouldn't do this in a mixture to begin with, but we're going to go crazy here with the first flavor. This is like when you go to the fountain drink machine and you like get one of like every flavor and mix it into one thing. It probably isn't going to work very well. It's going to taste like poo, but you did it anyways, and you're proud of yourself. So, all right, we've got the flask drained into there. Uh, we're ready to put it in the person. You know, we probably should do this on a live person, so let's go ahead and uh, get one of these bad boys down real quick. And uh, you, you need a little poke here. There we go. You're all better now. Woo! All right. Uh, let's go ahead and do the next part of the experiment. Oh, he's kicking. He's not too happy about his snow cone here. It's fine. All right, so the person's hooked up. Let's go and push. What the heck just happened? Uh, okay, so which flask did that? Was it the funky one? Was it the one of the change ones? Oh, no. Hopefully the other customers didn't see that. It, it's fine. Uh, we should probably put a sheet up or something. Okay, so... That wasn't a good idea. That wasn't a good idea at all. This is actually hard to look at right now. Um, we need to set up a new lab real quick. Also, there's a there was a shiny gorsk on the uh, the ground. This is fine. Okay. Um, let's try another one here. Let's just get rid of these uh, flavors. Maybe we should do these one at a time or something. Okay, we should probably retry that. So I think the reshaping is potentially what changed them into the weird components. I think the funky was the uh, the lights and stuff, which I like that, Han. Let's try that one again. I, I really think that's the one we should use here. So let's go ahead and set this to pull, and there we go. Let's put some funky liquid in there. It's nice and blue, too. I like that. So we got that. Uh, do we want to add anything else that might not completely break it? Ooh, there's a relocation one. Um, we're going to have that for the next one. All right, do we think this is enough? This is probably enough, I would imagine so. Uh, let's go ahead and hook this into here, and we're going to set that to drain, and let's cut this connection. Actually, it needs to be pushed. There we go. All right, let's make them funky. Come on. Push it in. Uh, is it not working? Hold on. Maybe we need another connection here. Uh, one of these is going to be pushing. All right, here we go. What the heck is going on here? Oh, no. Okay. Um, oh, dear. Okay. Uh, this is fine. 
All right, cut the connections, cut the connections. What does the heart rate do during the funky? Okay, hold on, let's hook that up. Uh, it's at 100 beats. Oh, it's slowly going down. Okay, uh, the funk is starting to slowly wear off. This is fine. <laughs> uh funky that's uh, really bright okay we need to eliminate this person real quick you, you don't need to be here you know why eliminate them when you can relocate them so this will work all right let's go pull out some of this liquid this one's a little bit more purple wow it's really hard to look at this person right now this is fine all right here we go let's go ahead and push and okay relocation that did not work out the way i thought it was gonna work out I thought it was gonna like maybe move him to another side of the map. He just exploded the character everywhere. Wait, is there two heads? Uh oh. Okay. This is okay. We need to get this person down here. This is an experiment gone wrong. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and maybe cut to commercial break or something. We we gotta go get rid of this character. Okay, so that was not a good idea. So we have a pink one. That's a good one. I think the burster. Wouldn't that be the same as the relocate? Bob's trying to find the perfect combination here, and he just can't seem to find it. You know, we're going to forget the table, but I need to tie him to that. So let's go ahead and set this to pull, and we'll do the burster real quick because I'm pretty sure I know what that's going to do. Also, we should probably experiment with this with the flask. But yeah, Bob's looking for a, a way to maybe strengthen his armies. So if you guys have any suggestions for future episodes and what he should inject these with, could be characters maybe we'll make some super characters here really soon also you guys better hold up it's fine uh, you gotta wait in line a little bit longer you'll get your snow cones okay let's go and hook this up here and switch okay the burster puts a gorse inside of somebody it's like a an alien burster and oh the gorse is spitting um that's just not right okay uh oh no the gorse is spitting at bob bob uh you might want to leave the gorse doesn't look too happy uh, it wasn't happy about this whole little shred with the, uh, the burster. Oh my. That's gross. All right, time to get the hatchet back out. Uh, we need to eliminate the gores here. It's fine. And there we go. All right, so next experiment. So do we have like a mop or something? Because I feel like we need one for the, uh, the snow cone stand. So all right, let's go ahead and pull the pink liquid in real quick. We're almost done here, folks. Uh, some of you guys are going to be really disappointed when you don't get your snow cone. All right, so pink liquid. What does pink liquid do? Oh, boy. All right, let's hook one up in here, and let's turn... Okay. Wait, what? It just did the gorse thing. Wait, is the pink a randomized liquid? It's a flask full of pink. Why did the gorse pop out? That should have been the other one, the burster. What? Okay, this is fine. Well, we got another gorse on our hands. You know what we have to do? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I really want to retry the pink one, by the way. All right, this is fine. There we go. All right, we'll get another person. You know what? It's probably a good time to try this. So this is the syringe. Can I just poke this in here? Does that work? Uh, I don't think it actually does. I think I have to actually pull it. So let's try that. So if I hook you into here... Oh, there it goes. Look at... Oh, that's actually cool. Man, that almost needs to be a feature in the game. That's sweet. All right, so now we can grab this, correct? And we should be able to use this in the person. So pink. What does pink do? Is this working? Is this... Uh-oh. Uh, do I need to activate it? Maybe to push it? Here, let's keep activating. One of these is going to push the liquid in, right? Uh, activate. Come on. Come on. F to activate. I feel like we broke it. Maybe we just need to break it. Uh, let's go ahead and just shoot the syringe. That normally works, right? Let's see if it works with this one. All right. Just hold still. It's going to be fine. Nope, that is not working. Huh. What are we doing wrong here with this one? I need to read it again. Yeah, it's almost like it maybe went in between and it's not actually injecting because I read how to do it and it doesn't seem to be... Oh, the gorse is spitting. Gorse, please stop it. We're working here. Okay, so here, let's cut it now. Let's try this again. See if we can get this to activate. Come on. Oh, oh. you're kind of stuck on top of it. Ah, Jesus, this guy's heavy. All right, here we go. That's another injection. Is that one pouring in? That one looks like it's kind of going in, right? Yeah, I can't activate this for some reason. There must be something I'm doing wrong. Uh, I'll read the instructions for a third time, but Bob's not really good at reading instructions. Uh, and it didn't work the first couple times. You know what? We might have to ignore the pink stuff. Might need to move on to the next. Also, there's a potential maybe uh, I pushed some of the burst stuff into the, uh, into the last one or left it in the tank. And that's why this other gorse appeared, but it's fine. 
All right, so there is an injectable flask, so you can stab the syringe inside of this one. That one's cool, and there's an empty odd flask. This one scares me because it says an empty flask. It doesn't feel right. What do you mean it doesn't feel right? Hold on, drain the tank real quick, and let's see if we can push or actually pull what's in here. What is in this empty flask? Is there anything? It says it feels odd, but man, there's nothing pulling from it. Bob, do you remember ordering this? This is weird. Uh, maybe we should put it into Bob, potentially? Yeah, I've got another empty one here. Does it break? It doesn't break. Okay, let's get the empty syringe. Like, if you can't see liquid in it, can you tell if it's filling something up? No, it's not. There's gotta be a secret to this one. So if anybody has any clue, I don't know, it feels odd. Obviously. <laughs> All right, so we have some other ones uh, that are some of the basic syringes, but I think we found some pretty good combinations here to use on people. Also, there's a zombie flask. So I think we're gonna use this on the remaining people. Oh boy, we're gonna need a couple of these. Oh, just drop one, this is fine. This is why uh, Bob shouldn't be responsible for holding stuff. So enough of these should fill one tank. What if I resize the tank? Does it actually make it hold more? I'm kind of curious about that. All right, we made a thick boy tank. So, all right, so it's ready to start pulling. Let's pull the zombie in there. Maybe this is what we need. Okay, pull pull the zombie. All right. Oh, does it not pull now? Oh, there it goes. I had it pause. Of course, I'm that stupid. All right, so we have pulled the zombie virus in the tank now. Perfect. Okay, should we mix the zombie virus with something? I mean, we can make a super strong army. Hold on, let's drain a little bit of this. What happens when you drain it on people? Does it do anything? Like, is this infecting the people? All right, stop there. Let's add a little bit of super strength here. You know, we could make a really funky army. We could do that. That'd be kind of fun. So you have funky zombies. I mean, does anybody else want to see that? I know I kind of do. All right, so we have our ultra strength here. So let's set it back to pull here. And let's go ahead and hook this one in here. So it's going to turn the liquid a little bit different color. Uh, is that working? Oh, yeah, it's working. All right, so you have ultra strength zombies now. And let's go ahead and add one more mixture here. And we're going to see what it does to these people. Hopefully they don't turn on Bob. You know what? We got to do it. We got to make a funky army. So we're going to go ahead and use it because it's like one of my favorite things. All right. So pull the rest of that in there. All right. It is now officially full. Cut the tie. All right. So everybody's going to get a little bit of snow cone here. So I'm going to go ahead and pause everything and hook this into uh, the tank and we will uh, we'll push it. All right. Time for everybody to be turned into a zombie. Here we go. Oh, dear. OK, push it. Push it. There it goes. Uh, why is it only pushing into one? Uh, hold on. Maybe we need to pull. What's going on? Oh, there we go. OK, let's start pushing again. Oh, oh, uh-oh, we have funky zombies. What is happening? It's like a big party. Oh, they're freaking out. Um, Bob, this is probably something you should have played with. Um, I kind of feel like we should probably grab Wilson and, and get the heck out of here. Wilson, come on. Wilson's really stuck on this pole. They're, uh, they're trying to get out. Uh, Bob, you want to just waltz out of here real quick? Um, I know what we need to do with the side. Obviously, we need to grab a couple of these and take them home. We know what we're doing now. We're going to raise the ultimate army. Either that we're going to infect another creature. But, uh, yeah, we need to get out of here. We need to blow up this area. So, with that, we need to uh, probably burn the evidence here. So, this is fine. We'll add a couple of these. Uh, does this light the barrels? I'm not sure if it does or doesn't, but we're going to test it out here. Okay? Is this... Oh, okay. They're on fire now. Oh, burn, oh there we go. Oh. Uh oh. Um, that wasn't explody enough. We need to have something a little bit bigger. Let's go ahead and go atom bomb. Say goodbye to the funky zombies. All right. Three, two, one, go. There we go. Look at that. It cleaned everything. Um, I don't know what we accomplished. Oh, we made Christmas lights. Wait, does that mean that? Oh, look at the other pieces. They're all shiny. Oh. Yeah, Bob's outdone himself today. It's fine. Uh, so Bob's back at his house. Uh, Wilson, unfortunately, isn't here right now. He'll come back later, but uh-oh. Nate Bob hears some sirens coming. Uh, maybe they got wind of his uh, lemonade stand. It's fine. Or snow cone stand or whatever stand it was. Food cart. 
It's some sort of stand. He doesn't even know anymore. He should probably get out of here because cops are coming. So he's going to move his experiments somewhere else. If you guys have any suggestions uh, for future experiments Bob should do, uh, comment down below. Uh-oh. Oh, here they come. Oh, they just... Okay. That's a really, really rude way to get inside somebody's house, is it not? Wow. It's just rude. All right, so that was a fun little story to do. By the way, I'm using the... It's called the Extra Flask mod, so... Uh, we went over most of them. There is a couple that are a little strange to me. Like, some seem like they kind of do similar things. This pink one is kind of bugging me. Like, I feel like we never actually got the full, like, what it does. I'm assuming it might be close to the pink syringe. By the way, I activated the, uh, the AI for the people, so uh, they're going to be looking around a little bit. So here's the pink syringe. I'm assuming it's the same thing. So we go, oop. Did that hurt you? Okay, so I think the pink syringe is like a random uh outcome so yeah oh why did he not die that was weird okay let's go ahead and pull out another oh he's running no buddy 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 hey i didn't mean it i did not mean it you know what it's fine you're not gonna go anywhere it's because you're gonna stay here with me oh they're gonna need a different like little thing to bind him you're staying here there you go all right so let's get the uh let's get the flask here so maybe it did actually go off and it was just random. So mm, that might be a thing. We'll do it with this real quick. Another thing that was bugging me was the, uh, the syringe here. So there we go. We've pulled it. So now I think if I click F on it, it activates it. So now it should work potentially. Hold on. Let's try this again. Oh, I that just bounced right off. That's fine. This, uh, I feel like this should be in the game. Like this is a cool feature. I don't know if this is working right now. Look F again. Yeah, it's bugging me. I can't get that to work this way. It must be something I'm still doing wrong. Uh, somebody can comment down below and figure that out. But let's go ahead and just do it via blood tank then. Okay, the pink goo's going in here. And we're going to hook this over here. And then we're going to switch this to push. There we go. We got some... Oh, it's still hooked up. Hold on, pull. I didn't even think about that, so let's pull this. Might need to get one more flask out. There it goes. All right, so we're pulling into here. Let's go ahead and disconnect here and switch it around to push. All right, so what's this one going to do? So there's definitely some pink in here, right? I don't feel like it's... Oh! Wait, did it bring him back to life? Like, I feel like it actually uh, brought him back to life for a second, and then now he's, he's done again. <laughs> so the pink one's a bit of a mystery. Also, the big mystery is the odd one. The empty odd flask. I don't know if it's just like a troll or what it is, but it says it doesn't feel right. And I haven't been able to activate this one. Like I've tried smashing it. I don't know if we tried shooting it. Let's try shooting this real quick. I don't like these can be broken. What the? Wait, what? Wait. That totally just did something. So you have to get the mist out of it. Oh. Oh, and let's do it again. That was odd. I mean, I guess that's why it's called the odd flask. It makes sense now. All right, let's do this again. So, let that mist hit him. Is mist doing anything to you? Huh? Breathe it in. Anything? I don't know. Oh. I don't know what's happening here. Honestly, this one's confusing to me. Maybe somebody knows a little bit better. Can we shoot the uh, the flask off the top of this guy's head? Of course, you know for this, we have to use a shotgun, right? All right, here we go. We're going to shoot the flask off the top of the head. Wait, that actually worked? So, yeah, there's plenty more to test out here. I like the, uh, the zombie one. If you guys have any suggestions for these, let me know down in the comment section below. We'll uh, build more and try out some more mods next episode. Also, let me know what Bob should do next episode. But thank you guys for watching this episode of People Playground. We'll see you guys next time.